Hi, it's Tom with Digital Foundry, taking a quick look at GTX 950 and RX 460 performance in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This was always going to be a challenging one, but the basic goal here is to match visual settings on consoles at high settings and 1080p. Now we've included 16 times in the isotropic filtering here as a bonus, and as with our mid-range GPU test, we're relying on the temporal anti-aliasing mode to clear up the image as well. Also, it's worth mentioning the GTX 950 in this case is a 2GB model, while the AMD card card has 4GB of VRAM to work with. And in summary, the game's benchmark shows an initial advantage for the AMD card. Even paired with an i3 processor, the RX 460 puts in a visibly better performance during this camera flyby. In terms of the stats, the GTX 950 gives an average of 27 FPS across this test, while we get 29 FPS on the RX 460. This is of course an exceptional engine stress point and not indicative of the general run of play, but as a way to divide the two cards with a perfectly matched obstacle course of effects, lighting and lots of NPCs, it's a conclusive AMD win. And of course, those benchmark results don't exactly cut it for a locked 30 FPS experience, supposing we were to put a half refresh cap in place. But when we turn to gameplay, it's much more encouraging. Check this out, neither the RX 460 or G6 950 really show a clear advantage in the heat of a firefight, but you do get above 30 FPS from both GPUs. That's running the gamut from 30 to 40 FPS on either side, which is pretty good going. For high settings at 1080p, there's just enough headroom here to squeeze a console level experience, but 60 FPS is of course completely off the cards. In fact, we tried putting everything at low settings and still couldn't clear that gap fully, falling short at around the 50 FPS line in this battle. Also, later in-engine cutscenes put a lot more pressure on these two cards at this high setting, giving us around a 25 FPS readout at worst. The good news is, in action these two are putting in a very good showing, and there's plenty of scope to pair back shadow quality, for example, to level out any outlying cutscenes at a straight 30 FPS. Peaceful option. I got it. So overall between the two, the RX 460 is definitely a more consistent performer, but both are very close, practically an identical line in spots, while in others either card can pull ahead. Based on our previous test with the Hitman reboot, a game that relies on a similar technical bedrock with the Glacier 2 engine, we expected this to be a challenging one, but here, and despite the relatively low VRAM of the 950 in particular, we have plenty of options for a really solid 30 FPS experience. Anyway, that's all from me today. Do like and subscribe to see more gameplay GPU tests like this, and until next time, thanks for watching. Remember to keep an eye out for the gym's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the gym's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing sing any second. Hold it! And all your papers. Just watch yourself, Clank. I hate this city. Come on.